to misquote Beyonce, I woke up this morning and I was not feeling myself. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I got an eye infection, which wasn't healing. The KP on my arms was flaring up. So needless to say that I was not in the mood to do anything, but I had to film for you guys. So while I was having my morning cup of tea, trying to figure out how I can make myself feel a little more put together, it suddenly came to me, why don't we do a dedicated video on some of my favorite luxury accessories that rain or shine, I can always count on. So if you'd like to see my edit of luxury accessories that don't require too much effort, but deliver max results, no matter what pickle you find yourself in, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. And let the search begin. I headed straight into my wardrobe to poke around some of my accessory drawers because I wanted to show you not only specific things that I own, but give you ideas on what potential pieces to invest in because I understand that not everyone is going to spend a ton of money on luxury accessories, even though I do think that putting your money into these pieces would pay off eventually because I know that these are pieces you would get your money's worth out of. But if you're not ready to spend this much money on these accessories just yet, I will try my best to link some more accessible alternatives in the info box for you. But let's jump straight in and start with an Hermes icon, a piece that I have no doubt you have seen around. It's possible that you didn't look at it twice but that's because a lot of people wouldn't think much about this thing i think people would look at it say it's nice and then move on to the next thing but let me show you it does a lot more than you would think which is the iconic be happy bracelet it's a piece that has been around since the early 2000s and it does have a cute name be happy it doesn't actually have anything to do with being happy. It's actually a play on the designer's initials, Pierre Hardy, who, if you know Hermes, if you're familiar with the brand, I'm sure it's a name that you have heard before. Pierre Hardy has been with Hermes for 30 years. He is currently responsible for the brand's shoes, fine jewelry, high jewelry, and he also created the packaging for the new Hermes beauty line. And among many other things, the Be Happy is also his creation, which is a really simple leather band that features an incredibly understated H buckle, which is actually reversible. So you can pick this piece up in a ton of different length, colors, and leathers. And as I mentioned, they are reversible, which means that on each side, they will feature more often than not a different color. So you can wake up in the morning and decide which color you're in the mood to show off or which color goes best with your outfit, but they are just such a simple understated design. And yes, they might look inconspicuous. You might not think that they do that much for you, but let me tell you, there is something magical about these pieces. As soon as you put them on, your outfit just immediately feels a lot more well thought out, well curated, and it makes you feel like, it makes you seem like you have put a lot more thought into your outfit than you actually did. It's a piece that looks incredible on its own, but it also makes a phenomenal stacking piece, a piece that you can stack with pretty much anything you already have in your collection. So please don't sleep on this piece. I know it seems underwhelming just sitting on the shelf, but as soon as you put it on, it really comes alive. Another accessory that will truly make or break an outfit, it can really transform you in seconds, is a great, clean, fresh, understated belt. And even though Hermes has some great designs, you guys know that I have quite the collection of Hermes belts. The belt that I have been reaching for is this one from Laura Piana, which I believe is called the Oswald belt. I don't know if it's just me who calls it that, but the name sounds like all well, something along those lines. I mean, it's pretty simple. Laura Piana does two belts for men. They do the saddle belt and then they do this one. They usually do this in either a braided finish or in leather or suede for spring, summer in some of the most delicious, rich, deep, saturated hues. And then for full winter, they'll do them in regular leather and exotic skins. But if you can get your hands on this belt in suede, 
I would highly recommend that you do so because it adds just the most interesting, rich, unique texture to any outfit you're going to style this with. It obviously features a really simple, understated buckle, yet it looks like a million bucks. And I genuinely never thought I would ever buy a red belt, but there's just something so effortlessly sophisticated about Laura Piana's color choices. And you might look at this belt and think, okay, gee, it's beautiful, but it looks a little too big on you. Well, that's for a reason, because when it comes to thicker belts, I always like to go at least a size or two up. I want there to be a little bit more material to wrap around and work with. I think there is just something really effortless. It just makes you seem like you're not trying too hard, even when you're holding on by a thread. At this point, some people will throw on a silk scarf, which there's no denying there's nothing quite as graceful and as polished as accessorizing with a silk scarf. But personally, I am just not someone who would use a silk scarf as an accessory. It's something that I will admire from the far, but what silk is for some people is what knitwear is for me. Yes, you heard that right. I even wear knitwear in the spring and summer. However, I will do it slightly differently. Instead of actually wearing these pieces, I will just use them as a layering piece in a color that I feel goes best with the outfit that I'm trying to spice up, which in my case is more often than not black. So here I'm opting for a really light distress knit from Saint Laurent, which will just add a little bit more interest to this really simple outfit and this is a formula that works with anything if you want to wear a simple pair of jeans and a white t-shirt that you just need to take to the next level if you just need to add a twist grab a unique knit from your collection grab a color or a texture that is unexpected throw it over your shoulders and i can guarantee that you will feel like a million bucks. It's a trick that works every single time. It's so understated. It's so simple, but usually the best things are. What is it that they say? A messy room, a messy mind? Is that a saying or am I just making that up? Let me know in the comment section. But anyway, I think it does apply when it comes to backs too. I hate having a messy back. So one thing that I'm a big advocate of is little pouches that you can use in all of your bags. Of course, you can invest in different pouches in different sizes, depending on the type of bags you like. But something that I will never be without is my Hermes Bolid pouch bag, which I think they do sell as part of the beach collection. I think it's meant to be like a cosmetic pouch, which of course it works as one. Personally, I do prefer cosmetic pouches that are a little bit easier to organize, but these I love having in all of my bags just to carry all my essentials, things that I never want to be without. So band-aids, medication, mints, little bits and pieces that you always want to have on you. You can even throw a little a sewing kit in there. Some safety pins I think would come in handy. You can put things like hand sanitizers, wipes. So just things that you always want to have on you. And of course, you know, I love Hermes. This pouch is inspired by their iconic bolid bag, which I do adore. But today we're strictly talking about accessories and I do love these pouches and I understand that it's quite a simple design. So if you would like to go for something that is a little bit more interesting, I would love to put the new Goyard one on your radar, which I recently bought something from Goyard. I'll share with you the entire story when I get to do my unboxing of that piece. And one of the things that I also considered buying was the new Goyard little cosmetic pouch, which I think would do a really similar thing thing for you. So if you love Goyard, if you're looking for something that will add a little bit more spice to your bag, that would be a great piece to go for. I think it is, I think if I remember correctly, it retails for 650 euros, which I thought, I mean, it's an insane amount of money to spend on an accessory, but considering how often you will use it, that would also be a great piece to go for. But if you love Hermes and you're looking for something a little bit more subtle, the bolide pouch, I know is something that you won't be disappointed in because every time you reach into your bag and see this piece, you'll be reminded that you have got it together. One thing I can never go without is putting a little bit of fragrance on. It doesn't matter if I'm at home editing all day, if I'm just going to the dog park, if I am going to the gym, I am not complete without putting on just 
the slightest mist of one of my favorite fragrances. And I know that some people have huge fragrance collections with a ton of different scents. And I do have a handful of scents that I like, but I personally am quite loyal to my fragrances. Why? Personally, I do think that a fragrance should be an extension of your personality. There should be a signature scent or a handful of signature scents that you will be known for. So here I'm showing you some of my favorites, starting with the Rose W fragrance oil, which is unreasonably expensive. It smells like an old musky dusty church, which I love. But considering how insanely expensive this fragrance is, I don't think it's worth it because it doesn't last. A scent that I have been wearing since I want to say freshman year of college is Margiela's By the Fireplace. It's one of my favorite warm, cozy, just a really beautiful, comforting scent. It's something that I always have on hand. Another fragrance that I have been wearing since high school, it's a signature scent of mine, is Comme de Garçon Black, which is smoky, similar to By the Fireplace but it's more on the cool side. It is smoky, it's kind of incensey. there's a little bit of woodsiness to it, but it feels a lot more refreshing in the spring summer. And then the latest addition to my collection is Louis Vuitton's Black Matter, which I shared the entire experience getting this fragrance. I smelled every single Louis Vuitton fragrance. And while they are on the pricey side, I actually think that they are worth it because they last beautifully and they are really unique scents. Personally, I'm not someone who wants a headache inducing amount of fragrance, but I do want my scents to linger. And speaking of lingering, if you're someone who always forgets to put their fragrance on, be sure to keep them by your front door. So I keep all my fragrances, well, not all of them, but my most used current favorites on this table by my front door in my entryway. So I'm always reminded to put on a little mist of my favorite scent before I head out. Actually quite similar to fragrances, another thing that I am not a big collector of is sunglasses, which is unlike most luxury lovers. I feel like luxury lovers tend to have a huge collection of sunglasses, which to be really honest across the board, I am all about quality over quantity. I'd rather have things that feel like my own style rather than having a little bit of this and a little bit of that, which can be a lot of fun, but it's just not really who I am. So I would say that each season I buy a couple pairs of new sunglasses that reflect on my current style. And those are the sunglasses that will become the sunglasses of the season for me, because sunglasses are a key accessory for me. I don't know what it is about sunglasses, but as soon as I put on a flattering pair of sunglasses, I feel like I'm unstoppable. So definitely explore your sunglass collection. Make sure that you have sunglasses that reflect who you are, sunglasses that reflect your personality, your style, things that you can always reach for because they go with the majority of your things and that they also make you feel more powerful. If you love an oversized statement pair, go and get a couple of those. If you like something more subtle and understated like I do, there are some amazing designer sunglasses out there. My current favorite brand is this one, which is a British brand. I think it is called Cubits, who recently did a collaboration with Mr. Porter. So these are from their collaboration that I picked up recently. And I actually shared the three pairs that I bought on Instagram. And these are the two that I ended up keeping thanks to you guys. I was only going to keep one, but so many of you loved both of these that I was like, you know what? You guys have incredible taste, so I might as well keep both. And I'm so happy I did. Now, if you ask me, not that I'm an expert on sunglasses, but in my opinion, you do need three pairs in your collection, a pair of aviators or metal frame sunglasses, a colorful pair, which in my case is usually going to be brown. That's as colorful as I will go. And then you do need a pair of really simple, clean, sleek pair of black sunglasses that just go with anything and everything. Obviously make sure that these pieces represent who you are. If you're a bold person, go for a statement pair. If you're more understated, go for something a little bit more subtle. But I think if you have these three different designs in your collection, you are all covered. 
And my friends, this completes today's video. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this new format. I hope you enjoyed this more vlog style video. I know it was quite unusual, but I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I am very much looking forward to seeing you back here next week with a new video. And in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram and even on TikTok now. And my friends, just one last reminder, if you would like to take advantage of my discount code with 7RP, you do still have a couple of days left. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure that you check out my last video on how to store and care for your RMS bags. Because if you have an RMS bag without an insert, it's definitely something that you want to look into. So make sure that you check out my last video. And if you have already seen it and you're contemplating using my discount code, make sure that you do before the 8th of August because I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be able to get another one. But anyway, I just wanted to remind you if you're interested, I appreciate you being here and I'll see you back here really, really soon.